Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React and the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about the how you can verify the OTP using React and the Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we are going to do have a demo. Okay, so this is OTP verification. I'm going to go with the OTP verification. Okay, send the OTP and the OTP sent. Okay, let me check my OTP. Yeah, it's coming. I'm going to add the OTP. Okay, now verify OTP. OTP verified and verified successfully. Okay, and here you can see that verified true and OTP coming up here from the backend, right? So we have the backend code also, okay, running on it. So first of all, let's complete the backend, then front end. Okay. So let's hide this. Let's go to the backend code. This is the backend one. Okay. We are using the Twilio, right? So we are using express body parser codes Twilio. So make sure you have to install all of these NPM packages. Okay. So here we have the list of the packages that we have to install. That is express body parser Twilio and the codes. Okay. Make sure to install. Then initialize the app body parser and the course. Okay. And then we have a Twilio credentials, account SID, or token. How to get it? Go to the Twilio messaging services. Go to your Twilio home. Okay. And here we get all the details of that one. So currently my, I think, go to the console. I think my account balance is low right now. Let's have a look how much I think it's 0 0.9 something because all the thing, all the amount is finished up. So account SID auth token, make sure copy and paste it. And this is a Twilio phone number and copy this one. So these are the things that you have to use it into your project. So account SID auth token, and this is your phone number from where you are sending the twill to the phone numbers. Okay. So this is the form phone number. Okay. My Twilio phone number, right? You are using the trial account. You can send only messages and make calls to the verified phone numbers. Okay. So this is the first API that is sent OTP. We, re we require the phone number and then we are generating the six digit OTP number. And then we are trying to send with the help of the Twilio code client messages dot create will help you to send the OTP. We have to send the body from and the two. And in the response, you are sending the OTP. And here I'm using the OTP store where I'm going to store the OTP and then after that, I'm going to validate that OTP. Okay. So this is that one. Otherwise, you can use the Twilio OTP API to verify that also. But this is also works. Okay. So I'm storing the phone OTP. And then in the verify OTP, phone and the OTP required from the body, from the front end. And if it is not matching, then phone number and OTP are required. And now we are going to matching with the stored OTP that is in the phone. This is OTP store phone and whatever the OTP is sent from the front end, I'm going to match it up. If it is match it up, then uh, OTP verified else false. Okay. And then app.listen.port on which port it is listening. That is 5000. Okay. Then go back to the front end. Okay. So here we have the front end. Right, so use import react, use state from the react, exios for calling the API. Okay, then we have the defined states, phone, user OTP and the verified. And first of all, when I click on the button, I need to send the OTP and calling the API in the try catch block. So this is the API for send the OTP. This is required by the phone number. So when I click on the send button, so here we have the send button. Okay. So if it is not verified, we have to show the phone number placeholder and the click that is send OTP. When I click on the send OTP, this will call. This will call the API and it will trigger the send OTP method from the backend and it will return you the OTP. Okay. After this, we have to go with the verify OTP, right? So here we have a verify OTP calling the verify OTP phone and the user OTP we require. Okay. And then if the response data dot verified is true, then set verified true and the OTP verified. If not, then invalid OTP. Okay. And catch that one. And this is the render part. If it is not verified, show the phone number. Okay. And uh, also user OTP. Otherwise, you have to show that verified successfully. Okay. 
so this is how this, it works okay is based on the verified or not verified if it is verified if it is not verified show the both the phone number and the otp screen if it is verified then show that one okay and how we have managed this using the states okay set verified to be true if it is verified then true it if not that invalid otp right so this is how you can use the react and the node chairs for the otp verification using the twilio any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day